Hello? Hello? Hey. Is this Raphael? Calogis? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, um, do you, do you like music stuff? Do I like music stuff? Yeah, I got a, I li I'm from Vancouver, and I got a package oh, yeah? for, for you, but, but it, it came to my door. It came to your door? I, yeah, but I don't know what, it, what it is. It says it's from a place, Long and McQuid? Long and McQuid, yeah. Yeah, it came yeah. from there. They, and they know. mailed it to you? Yeah, I don't know what it is, though. <laughs> I live in Vancouver with my mom. And you and you got it there? Well, I don't know. It just showed up at my door. I, I don't know. Okay, wait, where do you live? In Vancouver? Yeah, in, like in Canada. Where, where are you? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I live on the other side of the country. I live in Ontario. Oh, really? Why is it here? Yeah, then? that's crazy. I don't know, man. Wow. <laughs> Well, thanks so for letting I, me know. I, what do I what do? What would then? that? Huh? Have you talked to your parents about it? What do I do? Yeah, my mom just said call the owner. So I just got the number on the delivery thing with like your banking information or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Like you could mail it to me, but that would take a lot of effort, and it costs money to mail things. It's a thing, and I don't want you to do that. Oh no, man. That's okay. I don't mind. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just, what do I do with your, like, banking information and stuff? Um, okay, well, I, I guess I trust you enough to, like, not, like, do anything with that. Yeah, if you could mail me the package, that would be the most convenient. Okay, well, one second. I'm just going to talk to my mom. Okay, is she there with you? No, she's in the other room. One sec. Yeah, can I speak with her, please? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Hey. Are you there still? Yeah, I'm still here. Don't worry. Oh, okay. My mom just said, um, my mom just said we're going to keep it. You guys are going to keep it? Yeah. And wait, is that, is that bad? I don't know. Uh, how much is it worth? Like, do you know what it is exactly? I don't know. It doesn't say, like, wh what is it? I don't know. It's the thing. I honestly don't, I honestly don't remember at all. I, the last time I ordered something from them was quite a while back. Like, is it a big package or is it small? Oh my god, it's on me. <laughs> Hello? Well, on it, okay, I'll read what it says. One sec. Okay. And this is a gift to you, Raphael Kalijos? Kalijos? I think, I think, sorry, I'm, I'm, I can't really read that well. <laughs> it's all good. You know what? Uh, since it's free, and you guys can hold on to it, it's alright, you can pawn it off, whatever it is. No, it's just, I, that's uh, nice of you, I just don't know what to do with it, because it has all your banking yep. information, I feel, it feels wrong. Here, okay, it's alright, can I talk to your mom about it? Uh, yeah, sure, but, okay, she's mad right now, kind of, but I'll try to get her. Okay. Okay, one sec. Hello? Hey? Who is this? Hey. Hey. Okay, it's Raphael, the owner of the package. Um, so, yeah, I guess there was a bit of uh, confusion since uh, it ended up across the century. But, yeah, you know what? You guys can just hold on to it. It's all right. You can uh, discard the banking information and such. And, uh, yeah, you guys can pawn off the item, whatever it is. So what do we do with it? Like, you want us to keep the envelope they attach with it? Like, the, the money and the guitar and everything? The money? Yeah, like, the whole... You want us to keep the whole thing? Like... So, okay, so my son came home from school today, and he had this big package on it, on our doorstep. We it, we thought it was, like, a couch that my husband ordered. Wow. It's, like, it's just a really big package, and, like, we didn't know how it came from. We didn't even see the truck that dropped it off. It has all of your information on it. And, um, yeah, like, from my, I don't know, my son doesn't know much about music stuff. I know it's from a music store by the looks of it. Okay. But, yeah, um, I'm a frequent... Yeah, no, it just, it looks like there's, like, fr from I from my perspective, it looks like there's a bunch of guitars in it, like a big package, and then yeah. just on the outside in a really sealed envelope, it looks like, like a lot, like just a bunch of cash. I can, oh, I can open it. How about I open it and tell you what's inside, and then if every, okay. and if anything happens, I can reseal it and send it to you. Okay, that'd be great, actually. All right, one second. I'm going to go, I can't bring the package. It won't fit through my door, but I'm going to go, oh. like, outside and look at it. All right. All right, one sec. 
Okay, yo, just head in and stay in the car still. Hello? 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 Hey. Is this Raf? Yeah. Okay, okay, so I open it up, and inside the big box, there's just two, it's two, it looks like two guitars to me, and they're both labeled, and then I opened up the package, and it's just, it's just a $500 cash, but, um, but, do you want me to, would it mean anything to you if I read what was in the big box? If I, if you pardon? If I read to you what was inside the big box, like, do you want me to read Go right the label ahead. on both of the two boxes? They look like guitars, but I can't get inside the yeah, packages. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah, if you could do that, would be so, great. So, the one that I'm looking at on the left right now, it says it's a Southern Rock Le Les Paul, aged and signed. It says, like, a wow. Gibson Custom Shop. Why? It's wow, like a, okay. There's, like, a code on it, but it says it's Tribute Electric or something. Yeah. And then the one on the right... Like it says, like the title's like Gretsch Guitars, but it's from a custom shop 10 year anniversary duo jet no selector guitar, maybe, and it has a phone oh. number. Wow, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that. It, no, and the package is for me. I think this is why the box is so big, because there's like another thing with it. I don't I don't know much about music. It looks like some kind of amplifier just that came with it or something. I don't know what to do with all this. Really? I don't even know how this got dropped off. It's a big package. Wow. Okay. Well, um, okay. If you can mail that back to me, that would be absolutely amazing. But the thing uh, is that, like, well, yeah, it's uh, for shipping's the problem. That's what I'm worried about. Like, I don't want you guys to, like, dish out normal leg like, just to send that back, you know? Yeah, okay. Well, I have here what the, what, um... I don't know. I don't know what all this means, but I, I found there's another label on the small thing, and it is an amplifier. It says, do you, did you want me to tell you what that is? Yeah, sure. All right, it's just, uh, it says, like, a Ampeg. Oh, wow. It's just, it says, underneath it, it says, classic 300-watt bass head. Wow. Wow. I don't know. It means nothing to me, but I think, uh, I think I'm just going to keep it, but thanks for the phone call. Uh, okay. All right, well, yeah, those are some pretty expensive items, so if you're going to pawn them off and go right ahead, you're probably going to make a good They're expensive. Of that. I don't know. I like, might just give it to my son to, I don't know, maybe give to his friends or something. They don't look that yeah. expensive. I don't know. Yeah, fair is fair. We got it first. Okay. All right, then. Anyway, did you want to talk to my son? No, it's all right. All right, see ya. Hello? Hello? Oh, are you still there? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Alright, so you guys are gonna hold on to that? Okay, just tell him, tell him. Actually, you know, I feel bad. It's, it's completely up to you. The thing is, I... Ship, like I said, shipping's pretty expensive, especially if you can ship it across the country. Like, I'm in Ontario, you're in Vancouver. Uh, I don't know. Like, if you could, if you could, like, send it to me, I would honestly be truly grateful. Because that's unbelievable, but if you really feel like you should keep it, then go right ahead. I how honestly about, don't mind at all. How about we, uh... How about I just flip a coin? Flip a coin? Did you want me to do that? Or maybe you could just send one of the items to me and then keep the rest? Oh, um, yeah. You know what? Maybe that because shipping, or I guess it would be more, like, cheaper. Yeah, it would. So, yeah. like, what did, what did you want, what would you want me to send you? I'm uh, keeping the cash. So you said there was a, you said there was a Gretsch guitar in there, right? <laughs> Hello? Oh yeah, yeah. Hello? The Gretsch is the one. Yeah, the Gretsch is the one on the right. Yeah, I'd take that one if you could send that to me. Hello. Okay. Well, one sec. Hello. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, what did you want to do then? We're just gonna use your banking uh, information, and we're gonna charge you. 
Can I send it back? Yeah, I'm just gonna, because it has all your, like, banking information here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and charge it to your account. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so just give me one second. I think I'm gonna, I, I'm not, I don't really know, but I think UPS might be the cheapest way to get it to you, so I'm just gonna quickly research the price that it, that's gonna cost. Yeah, yeah, and you, you said, you said it came with money, right? Yeah, yeah, it comes with $500 cash, but you can't use cash to, to ship it out. It has to be from a bank account. Also, I think we're just going to keep the cash. Okay, but you can... Okay, how about this? How about this? You can keep the cash. <laughs> you can keep the cash, and you can use some of the proceeds to send it, like, back to me. And okay. Just oh, yeah, like, yeah. I just found the information know. on UPS website. Well, if I, yeah, I had to call you because it's it's illegal if I keep it. Um. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. There's $500 cash. So what I'm going to do, okay, unfortunately it's expensive. It takes 72 hours just to get across. Yeah. So, yeah, I here on UPS, and I checked FedEx just because it seemed a little ridiculous to me, and both of them cost about $950 to ship to where you are from where I am. Oh, but, wow. Uh, so I'm just going to put that on your account right now. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to keep the cash. All right. I want to make a touch. <laughs> All right, yeah, chill. I can't do it. Okay, but I'm still. I'm gonna ship the two guitars and the amp to your address. Then you're, you're. So what's your postal code again? If you do you know it. Yeah. Okay. That's what I have here too. So so you just want the amp and the two guitars. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. So I'm gonna. So okay. Yeah, I'm on your banking information right now. I'm just transferring. Nine hundred dollars of credit over to the shipping expenses. Okay. How's he letting us do this? <laughs> Hello. Okay. Well. Uh, anyways, it's nice talking to you. But thanks for all the stuff. All right. <laughs> take care now. <laughs> what? I said take care now. Just tell me. No, yo, Raph. Yeah. Guess who, pal? Oh, you fucker. I thought something was up with this shit, man. I thought something yeah, was up with this shit. Yeah, you knew something number. was up with this shit. That sketchy ass fucking number, man. Yeah. Like zero, zero, <laughs> zero, one, two, three, four, five. What yeah. the fuck, man? <laughs> you realize what uh, I, I said no, that was I, in I that played a lot. I played along with this shit, but I didn't want to be rude, you know? I didn't want to just be like, yo, man, uh, yo, who the fuck are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. dude, that's like... Twenty thousand dollars worth of guitars I said was in that box. <laughs> yeah, holy shit, that was good. That yeah. was really good, man. Yeah. yeah, I got you. How happy were you? How did you like let me say I'm gonna keep it? I would have been like, lady, I'll arrest you if you don't send that back. <laughs> Yo, okay, wait. First of all, who who's the chick? Second of all, who the fuck's the kid? <laughs> uh, okay, so first of all, I'm the chick. Second of all, well, I'm the child. And third of all. Uh, yeah. You fucking blew my mind, man. You're fucked up. Yeah. You're fucked up, man. Love you, pal. <laughs> it was fucking Jordan, man. <laughs> yo, okay, yo, I fucking played along with that shit. I knew there was something up with that. I knew there was something up. Debatable. Man, okay. Debatable. Because, yo, the second you said I'm accessing your bank information right now, I'm like, okay, what the fuck, man? You can't just access someone to bank shit and put that into shipping expenses like that. I know. It's <laughs> that, that, you kind of you kind of gave it up there, and I kind of thought there was something good to go. And I'm just like, I'm just going to hang up and just fucking, but, yo. You were going to go watch your bank account, add $900 to credit? Yeah, pretty much. I was literally about to open my phone app and walking along the computer. So I'm literally in front of her right now. <laughs> and just be like, okay, so you guys sent me shit? Yeah. <laughs> I was okay. I, it seemed way too good to be true. Like a oh, fucking bass amp, two guitars, made it more 500 bucks worth of cash. Yeah. All right, pal. Man. See ya. <laughs> see ya, dude. You fucking got me. Wow. <laughs> see ya, man. See ya, dude.